Hey guys, today we're going to be watching the new Life is Strange double exposure trailer and I think I've been living under a rock because I didn't even know they were making a new Life is Strange game. But I do now and I'm excited. Let's get watching. I swore I'd never use my power again. But two nights ago... I found my friend's body in the woods. Shot? Who is that? And that's Max? <laughs> An all new supernatural murder mystery? I don't know who I can trust. <gasps> or who trusts me. But oh. my friend Safi is dead. Shot. She's been shot. Can I still hear her voice? Man. Focusing my power, <sighs> I somehow shifted into a parallel timeline. <laughs> what? Here, Sophie is still alive. The danger stalks are every step. Oh, and that only is so I cool. Can investigate both realities. Hang on. Parallel world? <laughs> It's the same as this one, except you're well dead. Yes, I can still save Sophie if I can solve and prevent the same murder across Whoa. two timelines. That is so cool. I love that double exposure. 29th of October 2024. I don't know what year this was set, but Max looks several years older. To be honest with you, if I didn't hear her name being mentioned or that she had powers, I may not have realized that was Max. She just looks so different. She looks amazing though. And I noticed that she has a little owl pin on her shirt, her jacket. We saw an owl back in the beginning. That owl there. So I'm very curious what the owl connection is. We can see that there's an owl here watching her. So I'm wondering, does that have some sort of significance? The owl is quite a prominent feature and she also has that owl pin. What does that mean? And also this police officer seems so familiar to me, but I just don't know whether we've seen him before. If you guys know who this is, please do let me know in the comments. They seem to have shown him a couple of times in this trailer. So I'm beginning to wonder if he actually has something to do with Safi's murder. I'm already suspicious. I love that they've kept Max's power, but have introduced a new ability, another layer to it, so she can go into a parallel timeline, a different universe, and save her friend Safi. I love that, and I just wonder if we are going to be able to swap back and forth between uh, realities at will, or is it going to be something that is quite linear, so you get... X amount of time in the current reality and then in the parallel world. But the whole concept is so cool, so different. I love it. I do have a huge question though. What about Chloe? What's going to happen with Chloe? If you've played the first Life is Strange game, you probably know that there is a huge choice involving Chloe at the end of the game, but it's up to the player what they want to choose in that moment. But I'm not sure how they're going to integrate Chloe into Life is Strange double exposure, if at all. Maybe she's not really mentioned. Maybe she's not here. She's not brought up. So I'm just really, really curious if they're going to talk about Chloe at all. Look, I would have to say yes, but I really cannot imagine in what way like what path will they choose to go down to talk about her i think if chloe is not mentioned a lot of fans would probably be quite upset but then i would hope that they would be able to understand why because of that huge choice at the end of the first game 
So that's going to be really interesting to see what they do with that. I adored the first Life is Strange game and I've played them all here on the channel as well. So Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange True Colors. But I have to say that I'm so thrilled that we're going to be playing as Max again, the original character, probably one of the most iconic Life is Strange characters. I just hope that going back into Max's world and continuing her story is the right move, the right thing to do. And it wasn't just because they wanted to create something that fans would instantly buy and play because it's Max. Although I loved all the other Life is Strange games, I do know that a lot of people weren't too fond on True Colors. So I'm just hoping that a return to Max and her story is done out of love and for the right reasons. But either way, like I'm so excited and the whole parallel universe and discovering the, the murderer and being able to change that is super, super cool. So I am genuinely excited for Life is Strange Double Exposure. It comes out late October and I'm going to be playing it on the channel without a doubt. So make sure you guys stick around for that if you would like to see it. But I'm happy with what I've seen today. It's exciting. It looks awesome and I just can't wait to see what happens. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.